655, note 19, Senate amendments are concurred in. After nearly two decades of debate and discussion, the state legislature has passed an historic bill that would allow California residents who are not in the country legally to obtain a driver's license. Praise the God. The debate went down to the wire. What we're talking about tonight is more than a license to drive. It's a license for an individual to work, a license for an individual to support their family, More money to for build the state. a better life. We're going to figure out the entire immigration debate sometime in the next few years. It will be figured out. It will be sorted out. But what we're doing is a huge mistake. Supporters say those obtaining the licenses would have to pass the same tests and play by the same rules as everyone else. But there will be a difference. Licenses for those who are not living in the country legally will be designated by a visible marking and a note saying, quote, this card is not acceptable for official federal purposes. This license is issued only as a license to drive a motor vehicle. It does not establish eligibility for employment or public benefit, end quote. Here's how the regular California driver's license looks. The new license for residents who are not in the country legally would be marked for driving privileges only. Should people who are in the country illegally have driver's licenses in California? If they work and pay taxes, I think so. I think it's a bad idea. I think that if we were in their country, would, would I have a driver's license? Yeah. Now the bill goes to Governor Jerry Brown, who issued a statement tonight indicating he will sign it. Brown said the bill would enable millions of people to get to work safely and legally. Reporting from the newsroom, Dave Bryan, CBS 2 News. Paul, back to you. Dave, thank you. The state legislature passed a bill tonight to raise the state's minimum wage. The bill would raise the minimum wage That's to, good too. to $9 an hour next July, then to $10 an hour in January 2016. Well, still needs the governor's signature, but he has already indicated that he will sign it. Well, that's a little be the first too late. In, wage in six years. Developing news overseas, seven people are dead after a car bomb. Anyways, the reason why this is good is um, for you people that disagree with the think economics. If they are here and they're working and they're um, paying taxes but not receiving the taxes back not all of them are are using um somebody else's social security numbers a lot of them are just fake or social security numbers um just enough for them to work but that means they have to get insurance so that means more money for the state more money for insurance more money for the state with the license um they'll have to pay to get a small just like any just like us so really this is a good thing for the state of california because they will be um keeping track and that's all a license is um is keeping track of who's driving on the road next is the social security social security is to keep track in on who's here in this country um just another way big brother can uh, have his hand um always watching us because they know uh, what you do when you apply for credit when you buy something or purchase something um, or when you go to pay a bill uh, enter the last four digits as your social security number you know they're watching us so if they're watching us then they have a right to watch everybody um, uh, you know and, and somebody might think I'm racist by saying this or say something but there is no way that all these Asian people in San Gabriel Valley have driver's license because they can't drive. They literally cannot drive. When I lived in San Gabriel Valley, my insurance was sky high because of how many Asian people were there. I've been in four car accidents. All four, I was hit from the back. And three of them, I was parked or stopped at a stoplight, and they were all Asians. For whatever reason, when they come here, you got to remember, they come from countries where they're driving scooters or they're riding bikes. Um, they're not used to driving cars. Now the kids, they go crazy and they want to, you know, Tokyo drift and do all this crazy stuff with cars. But the Asian people take the 10 freeway, get off on Rosemead, go north, going west on the 10, get off on Rosemead, go north um, and try driving. And, and you'll see what I mean. This is a known fact. 
at least the immigrants coming here from other countries and yes not just mexico racist people that say everybody who speaks spanish is mexican but the people that are coming here um drive a lot better than we do because they have to because they don't want to get stopped um that's the whole reason you know they have a better driving record now once they get their license you know they might just run a, a yellow red light they might you know so it's going to cause a little chaos on the roads but the thing is this is a good thing because first of all i'm half mexican american half native american and um so everybody here uh that's not related to any of my tribes you came here illegally um so you really ain't got a foot to stand on but this is a good thing because it's going to give people a chance to not live in fear and anxiety and trust me i care about certain people in my life that have to go through this and i never knew the fear and anxiety they went through um that i and you never go through and i saw the 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 endurance in them in the persistence to just work and work and work and um i'm proud of those whether they're here illegally or illegal anybody who's working um and doing whatever it takes two thumbs up in my book but for any deadbeats and culturally hispanic countries culturally when they come here they work that's why they come here now i'm not talking about the small percentage of gangs gangs have always been here black asian hispanic quote unquote mexican gangs they've always been here but the majority of the people that come here illegally they come here to work um that's why they come here they don't come here to join a gang or to be a prostitute they could do that in their own country they come here to work and if they're willing to work that money that they get paid a uh, little eight something an hour or even four dollars because people know they're illegal so they can rip them off um they put that money back into society they put that money back into the you know um christmas thanksgiving holidays into the supermarkets i mean and that's jobs where do you think all this money is coming from take away all the illegal people take away all their money and uh california would be more in debt than than we really realize so um this is the hood pastor and i'm glad that they're making an advance for um working immigrants that that want to um make a change and and remember not all of them were or not all of them had a choice when they came the ones that came as babies they just came just a hood pastor and i'm out